Welcome. This video deals with the answer to the second question of the second global warming quiz I set a while ago. Links to both quizzes, plus all the available answers, are listed in the description box below. You may want to try the quizzes before you look at the answers. The second question dealt with the so-called hockey stick graph, and has been the cause of so much controversy in some quarters over the last decade. So let me remind you what the second question was. Question 2. True or false? The hockey stick figure is now so discredited that even the UNIPCC did not use it in its 2007 climate assessment report. Well, there are two aspects to this question. One, is the hockey stick figure scientifically discredited as many claim it to be? And two, whether the IPCC refused to use it in its 2007 climate report, which would be damning evidence if true, as some have claimed. This is a very complicated series of events, so perhaps it would be best if I told it in the form of an illustrated story. Are we sitting comfortably? Yes? Well then, let's begin. In 1998, a man... No, Michael Mann. That's better. Published a paper... Okay, published a peer-reviewed scientific paper about regional differences in climate over the last thousand years. This paper became known as the Hockey Stick because of its peculiar shape. He published a second paper in 1999, expanding on the first. These results were featured in the third UNIPCC report. In 2004, two Canadians... No, not those guys. Yes, these guys, Steve McIntyre and Ross McKittrick. A mining engineer and an economist. No, you guess which is which who know little or nothing about science, climate, or perhaps even hockey, claimed that man had gotten the analysis all wrong. They were backed by several powerful politicians who seized on this new opportunity to debunk global warming, but really may have had some other things on their mind. Yes, one of them is Joe Barton, the congressman who apologised to BP for letting the nice clean Gulf waters get in the way of their oil spill. And the other was Senator Inhofe, who's from the oil-rich state of Oklahoma, and whose state bird can be seen here. So they backed our two intrepid statisticians and brought man to testify in congressional hearings. As a result, they demanded an inquiry, and the National Academy of Science was asked to do it. After a thorough study conducted by some of the US's top scientists who were neutral in the global warming debate, they produced a report that was extensively peer-reviewed, and they concluded, under oath, that man's result was essentially correct. The end. Well, unfortunately that was not the end. For as soon as Barton discovered the likely outcome of the National Academy report, he handpicked a bunch of anti-global warming scientists and got them to write their own report. That report was not reviewed by anyone else, and was later found to have been heavily plagiarised from various unreliable sources. Since then, Mann has repeated his study using the statistical techniques suggested by McIntyre and McKittrick, and got the same result as before. He has done it using subsets of the data and got the same result. Other independent groups have done their own reconstruction using different data, different weightings and different analysis techniques. They all come to the same conclusion as man originally did. Namely, that the latter half of the 20th century is likely to be the warmest period certainly in the last thousand years and probably in the last two thousand years. So that brings us to why the UNIPCC did not use the hockey stick graph in its 2007 report. You see, the thing is that they did, over and over again. We can look at some examples. Chapter 6 of the Working Group 1 report, subsection 6, figure 610. There are nine man-like reconstructions there. Or box 64. There are yet another eight reconstructions there. Figure 612 even has regional hockey stick figures. If you don't believe me, go look at the report online yourself and read what they have to say. To summarise then, both the statements that the hockey stick is scientifically discredited and that the UN IPCC abandoned the hockey stick analysis in its 2007 report are completely false. The irony of all of this is that the hockey stick is not all that important to the case for anthropogenic global warming. It was effectively a footnote in Mann's 1998 paper which was about long-term regional climate variations and said nothing about global trends. Yet even today you will see people claiming that the hockey stick is the cornerstone of the anthropogenic global warming case, and as it has crumbled it destroys the global warming issue once and for all. They are either completely mistaken or lying to you. The answer to question 3 will be out shortly. 
keep safe. Bye for now.